Okay, mister. That's enough daydreaming for tonight. Lucas, you're supposed to be reading this book for school. It's been a week already and you're only on page two. I'm also going to need you to help me unpack some of these boxes. Okay, what is it? You can talk to me. I don't want to talk. Lucas, I know I am not your dad, but you can tell me stuff too. I hate it. I just hate it here. I miss all my old friends and there's literally nothing to do. Plus, all the kids at school say that the hooded man lives in our neighborhood. The hooded man? Wait, you heard of him too? They say he comes out at night when the wind is the quietest and he makes everything stand still. <laughs> Lucas. I'm serious, Mom. They say he creeps around searching for new kids because he needs a host body to stay in the real world. A host body? Yeah, and I'm the new kid. Lucas, you cannot tell me for one second you believe that there is a hooded man out there searching for... for... Mom? Is something wrong? I see him. I see him, Lucas. Mom, what do we do? Code red. I repeat, code red. The hooded man is here. Mom, come over here. He's gonna see you. Mom? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> false alarm. I repeat, false alarm, Dad. Sweetheart, your dad is gone. No, he isn't. Honey, listen. We lost him in that fire. Remember, he, he went in to save all those people and he didn't make it out. You don't know that. He has been gone three months now. We will continue this conversation later, okay? Get some rest. I have to answer that. But mom! Lucas? Later. Hey dad, it's me again. I don't really like it here, but mom is really happy. She got a new job. She seems to like it a lot. She's been talking about getting me a dog to help me, but I think it's just for her so she doesn't feel alone. It's hard opening up to mom, you know? But I'm trying. I miss you so much, Dad. Mom? Dad, I think it's the hooded man this time. Dad? Dad? I'm scared. 